Hi everybody, how are you? I'm trying a little bit different camera angle today, so we'll see if this works out. I'm just trying to get it all figured out to where it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing and for me to be able to teach you different ways. So we'll see about this camera. All right, so today what I'm doing is I'm just gonna teach you another cute little Mardi Gras little treat. And um, the traditional king cake, depending on where you're from, it's gonna look a little bit different. And But most of the time, it's kind of like a twisted cinnamon sugar kind of goodness. And so I actually saw on Pinterest this little mini king cake. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have to, I have to try that because that is just so cute. So it's really simple and easy. You don't need very many ingredients. And I just realized that I forgot to get out my crescent rolls. So let me do that. Okay, so you just need crescent rolls you're gonna need a little cinnamon sugar mixture. And what I did is I took like a half a cup of sugar and about three tablespoons of, no, three teaspoons of cinnamon. I mixed it all up and then I just, you know, ended up getting some good cinnamon and sugar all mixed together. And then you need um, a half a cup of chopped pecans. And you guys know, boy, do I love the Tanner's Pecans out of Mobile. They are such good quality. They are so delicious. So, um, and so that's what you're just gonna need just to make the little cute little king cakes. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so of course you open up your little crescent rolls. And I might move you down so you can see. We'll see if this is a little bit more helpful. Okay. So these are the kind that are perforated, you know, so that you can make it into crescent rolls. I did try to find the, um, oh goodness, let me turn this around. I did try to find the sheet, I've shared that with you guys before, how you can buy like crescent roll and it's just not perforated, but I couldn't find it. I think it's a little tricky to do. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna press all of these little seams together. And mine had fallen apart, but that's not a big deal. That's what I like when things go wrong. <laughs> it's, this is just what happens in a kitchen. Things are not, they never, they don't always come together perfectly, and so you just fix it, okay? So now I just fixed that. See that? And then I'm gonna pinch this together too. Okay. All right. And then we're just gonna sprinkle the cinnamon and sugar on this little crescent roll. And you want to get close to the edges because we're going to be rolling this up. It is a beautiful day today in Alabama. Oh my goodness. It's a little chilly, but it's so sunshiny. We had some storms come through. I don't think I'll ever get used to the tornado weather here. I grew up in Florida and you know, you had to deal with the hurricanes, but not these crazy tornadoes. When the weather changes, Ooh, we get quite, quite the weather systems. Okay, so you see how I've done that? And I probably put what, maybe two to three tablespoons on this. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle the chopped pecans on. And I know it might seem a little strange not to put butter on this, but it, it really works out, okay? But if you wanted to, you could put melted butter and then your cinnamon and sugar and then your pecans. Obviously, if you don't like nuts or if you don't have the pecans, 
you don't have to use them, but it just adds a little yummy goodness to that. Hold on one second. <clears throat> feeling a little less prepared today. Usually I um, feel like I have stuff pretty close, but I've actually been outside. Um, we've been working on our office. Um, you guys probably saw Mama Sue and I share an office together, and so I needed to stain another board, and so I was out there doing that um, because when my husband gets back, from the grocery store, he is going to be screwing things together. We should show you how we do that. But anyway, I've gotten a little sidetracked. All right, so then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna roll these up, just like you would a cinnamon roll. But you know, this, um, the crescent rolls, oh my gosh, I just love that dough. Don't you guys? Just so good. That one started to kind of come unpinched. So you're just gonna pinch it. Okay, see that, how that one has come? So I'm just gonna not really worry too much about that and I'm gonna pinch this up here. Pinch it together. Okay. And this is where all the cuteness comes in. So I'm using my little mini pan and we're gonna cut very thin slices. And then what you do is you nestle, in Pinterest it says you snuggle these together, okay? So you're gonna snuggle these two little slices together and stick them in your pan, okay? So they look like that, all right? So again, you just wanna make it really skinny really thin, thinner than what you think it should be. And then we're gonna, again, snuggle them in here. And it's okay if they're kind of messy because honestly, when you bake them, they turn out so, oh my gosh, it's the cutest little twisted little pastry. I think it's so cute. So again, you just snuggle it together and stick it down in. Boy, have I made a mess out of that one, but it's not going to matter because again, you just <laughs> nuggle it in and it's going to be all right. I hope you guys can tell, you know, that I'm kind of one of these people that like, kind of when you try to make it perfect, and I do like things to be nice, but I also know that sometimes in the messiness, it ends up looking better than what it would have looked like, you know, if you had tried to make it just perfect, okay? All right. So again, taking these two, I've kind of pushed them together, and then you snuggle them in, in there. I might have had, maybe should have gotten my bigger pan, doing this, I, I wanted to just kind of talk to you guys just a little bit about doing hard things. Um, I wear the shirt all the time. I know so many of you know that my husband suffered a massive stroke um, going on eight years ago, and it was a cerebellar stroke, and so he didn't have the typical weakness that you have, and that looks like a stroke. He just looked like he was really, really dizzy and he was vomiting and anyway, and he was misdiagnosed for four days and almost died because of the hydrocephalus. And during his recovery and while he was in rehab, we just really just used the motto stronger every day and I can do hard things to get through that really difficult time. And I remember going to Walmart 
<laughs> seems like I'm there all the time. But I was there one night when Daryl was in ICU and I, I think it was like midnight or something. I couldn't stay with him in ICU and so I would come home late, late every night and I needed to run in to get something. And I remember looking at the faces of all of these people so late at night at Walmart and I remember thinking, they have no idea that my husband, there's a possibility that he could die. And then I said to myself too, like, and I have no idea what's going on with them. And it's so changed my life. Like I thought that I was a really compassionate person and had a big heart. But until that moment and until that time with Daryl and his stroke, I was really taught so many lessons through that difficult time. And I think that's part of what, when we hear about in the scriptures, the refiner's fire, I think that's it, right? Like life is hard and tricky and it can test us, but there are some valuable lessons that can never be learned, but only during the hard. And so I know that so many of you guys know that. Now, I've got some extra, and so what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I will use this later, and I'll um, make another little, you know, a few of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven, and I think it is for about 10 minutes. And so I will be back. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, before I put these in the oven, I do want you guys to see what they look like. See, they're just kind of messy in there, but when they come out, they're gonna look so cool. All right, now, you'll see me in a bit. Okay, so they are out of the oven. They are nice and golden, and look how cute they are. See how twisted and just funky they look? I just love them. So, um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them on my cooling rack and they were in the oven for, it turned out, I think I said I was gonna put it in for about 10 minutes and I ended up putting them in, keeping them in for about 11 minutes. So I'm just gonna take these out and then I'm gonna show you how to make just a really quick glaze and then we're just going to decorate them and anyway they're going to look so good okay all right i think what i'm going to do is move this down and move this down you guys can see a little better. All right, so the glaze is one cup of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of water, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And you just mix this all up. Just trying to get it as smooth as you possibly can. And I'm gonna start putting this on these little rolls, these little cinnamon, what are, what are we calling them? Bite-sized mini cakes? Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up my little sprinkles. So I've got the yellow sprinkles and the purple sprinkles. And these, again, I found them at Walmart and um, they were like 97 cents in the cake decorating section. Okay. So I'm just going to put, just put a little glaze on it. Yeah, and I'm gonna do like three of them. And then I'll take just a minute and put the sprinkles on them. Okay. 
okay? So we're gonna do like green, and then we'll do yellow. And then we'll do the purple. Okay, I hope you can see. Oh, they're so cute. Let me hold this up for you. Okay, isn't that just cute? Okay. All right, I'll do one more row. And I will finish what I was saying about Daryl. So when I was in that Walmart and I looked around and I saw all these people, and I just thought about my own suffering at that particular time and that I knew that maybe they were too, right? All of us, it, you know, all of us have at different times really difficult things that are happening and then sometimes not so much, thankfully. But in all of it, I think that, you know, the hard things in our lives while they are so uncomfortable and we would not choose them. I just wouldn't be the person I am today without the experiences that I've had in my life. And I had no idea that, I'll put this up, I just had no idea that the I can do hard things would become such a powerful thing in our lives. And then um, over the years, what has happened is So many people have reached out to me and have just said, you know, Miss Annie, I know that I can do hard things. And, um, and it's just true. And I just, again, did not realize that what we went through would have such a powerful ripple effect on so many other people. And I know like watching Mama Sue, has she not been amazing as you've watched her with such grace and such faith, just face the trial that she's had and she is such an inspiration to me so I think as we all are trying to live this wonderful joyful messy hard life that when we rely on the Savior and when we look to each other and serve one another it is what life is really all about so I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you and how much I just love being able to share all of this with you and so I want you to know that I love you and um, that I know you can do hard things. And I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.